graduated from Samuel Merritt Nursing School in 1966. I'm very proud of that fact and I've been very rewarded by the public and by everybody else because of this. I graduated the class of 1966 with my diploma and then went back and graduated in 1988 for my Bachelor of Science in Nursing. I'm very, very happy to be a graduate of Samuel Merritt Hospital School of Nursing, class of 1961. I'm Noni Aniges Morgan, uh, class of 1965, Providence College of Nursing. And I'm a proud alumni of Samuel Merritt University, class of 2010. Woo! <laughs> I'm a proud alumni of Providence College of Nursing, class of 1953. I'm a proud alumni of Samuel Merritt University, class of 2013. I'm a proud graduate of Samuel Merritt, class of 1987. I had no idea when I went into nursing what I was facing and what I would learn, but I realized that a career in nursing was really the way to go, especially if you have adversity in your life and you can always come back. It's really made an impact on my life because of the friends I made during that time and because it was kind of the impetus of developing my uh, life in the healing arts. Gave me the, the strength that I needed to move forward in life, the courage, the knowledge, um, the ability to become a better mother and a better nurse. We would learn uh, what we were supposed to know very well because these were human beings that we were going to be taking care of. There were probably 29 of us in the class initially. It was like having 29 sisters. And to this day, they're still my sisters. It was interesting learning about the body and physiology, but it really it was the friendships that, that was memorable. I got this panic attack and I totally forgot to speak English. I could not read, understand. Like my instructor came up to me and she's like, I don't even remember what she told me because I couldn't understand what she was telling me. So she took me out of the classroom. We were, we were taking a midterm and she took me out of the classroom and we walked and she really helped me out. Like she's one of the reasons I graduated. She was, she really cared for my education. It provided a job, it provided many things, many things. My husband, in fact. <laughs> To this day, I still bond with them and I still call them, even if we we could go a year without talking. And I know that I can call them um, and get advice from them and get encouragement from them because I know that they went through the same thing that I went through. When I came out, everyone at Samuel Murray University was very supportive of me. And it shows now because they have an LGBT committee now. Looking back, my biggest obstacle was my shyness. Um, although, you can't shut me up now. <laughs> my parents had gone through a hard divorce and I was still sort of working through that. And my roommate and other friends were so supportive of me and just encouraged me to continue my nursing and like the fact that I, I was helping somebody or maybe steering them in the right direction. I learned early on that you can't make people do certain things, but you can provide the information. You get the opportunity to be able to lift up others as well. And those, those are the moments that you hold on to. And those are the moments that you look back to to help get you through an even more difficult situation in the future. We were laughing just a few minutes ago, saying uh, the nuns made sure that we were good nurses. There was a threat of being sent home daily. You know, you will be a good nurse. You will give good service. I mean, that's what we had to go through with, so we did our best. When we put IVs in, we put them in on each other. That's how you practice. When we did cats, we didn't do them on each other, but we did do them on patients as students. And we did NGs and all these things, to dressings and things before we even got out of school. So when you got out of school, a merit grad was treasured anywhere because you could put them in a position right away. I don't think that I was very much sure that I could be somebody that could talk to patients and talk to colleagues, but once I, got into it, I really loved the camaraderie and the fun with everybody. 
I miss my friends now too because I've retired. <clears throat> Excuse me. What I love about nursing is uh, the compassionate care. Like nurses are trained to care, doctors are trained to care. So we we care. We're we're um just caring people by nature. Took care of children for years with cancer and filtered into adult oncology, um, which I've done for the last 10 years. Currently, right now, I'm a school nurse at my boys' school. I've had a variety of different things, which is the beauty of nursing. You can find your passion in any area, and if you want to do something else, you can go to a different area and explore that. We wanted to be nurses. We wanted to help people. Uh, I think all of us wanted to help people. I'd always babysat. I'd always taken care of people. Um, I don't know. That's just kind of a predisposition, you know. I wanted a job that I could always fall back on. I loved people and wanted to take care of them. I knew I wanted to do something that I wanted to help people, like people change people's lives, and I chose the best degree to do that.